Did you know that originally in 1776 there was a passage considering the slave trade from the Declaration of Independence? Then 11 years later it was changed to continue slavery for 20 more years. And in 1808, import, importation of slaves ended in America with a total of one million slaves. And before importation ended, there were, there were, there were one million slaves. Well, let me give you some history from 16, 1666 to 1776. Slaves were imported only for the English and Spanish colonies at a total of three million 250,000 died on the trip. And in 1776 to 1800, a yearly average of 74,000 slaves were imported for American colonies with a total of 1,850,000 slaves. And the total slave trade in numbers between 1770 to 1860 was well over 4 million slaves. Slaves were considered only three-fifths of a person for the apporting of congressional representatives. Three-fifths of a person is, is like 0.60% of a person. Used to work clearing out land, road building, and crop raising in harsh environments. There was altogether 250 years of slavery for recruitment to the workplace. Or, or being sold for, captured, for, for capturing slaves, auctions, sold for the production of tobacco, cotton, sugar, and rice cultivation, leading to a demand in slave labor. Now we asked each kid to pick um, their favorite African American that they wanted to uh, do a special quote on. So we're going to start with Mari. I was the conductor of the Underground Railroad for eight years. I can say what most conductors can't say. I never ran my train off the track and I never lost the passengers. I am Harriet Tubman. Oh. The letters that come to inside are not uh, are not for gold medals, but the battle inside of all of us that's really is. I am Jesse Owens. My husband is the first black president and the 44th president of the United States. I am Michelle Obama. All right. Nobody will give you equality. Nobody will give you freedom or justice or anything. If you're a man, you take it. I'm Malcolm X. Oh. 
Johnson. 